What's going on guys and welcome to another jump start video today. We're gonna see what we get uh, I have literally recorded so many of these back-to-back. -back. It's amazing. Uh, dude, we got to go Lily, right? Like 100% we're going Lily uh, Liliana Ooh, minions. Mm, let's try minions. I don't know that I've played with minions yet Liliana and minions. Let's see what we get. Um, I'm recording a bunch of these kind of back-to-back to make sure that we've got yes uh, we've got um, a lot of content so it's either going to go up all at once uh, in which case you guys have a lot to watch at one time or uh more likely i'm going to spread it out whilst i am gone on vacation so uh if you don't know i am going to be gone thursday through sunday which means there will be no recording during those days uh i figured jump starts a really easy thing to kind of just pre-record and jump up there so um no pun intended um so yeah that's what we're doing uh hopefully we have some good matchups. The last one did not go so well. It was goblins and well read. Goodness, we lost pretty badly every single time. But hey, it's fun. It's fun. Um, do we keep this? I think we keep this. This is a nice little starting point. Each player sacks a creature. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Let's keep it. Uh, this is nice along with this and uh, innocent blood. So I'm pretty happy about that. All right, let's get this out there. See what they do. Uh, ooh, frame rates. Why are frame rates so bad? Oh, I hate that. Sorry, guys. Um, we'll attack him. Uh, and I think we'll just pass. Hopefully we get a land next turn. That'd be great. We can get Blighted Bat down, or uh, if we need to kill some stuff and then get uh, that down, we certainly can. Hmm. Well... Let's do this first. Whoops. Uh, let's do this. Sacrifice this. Hopefully get a couple lands. One. Okay. Well, that's a start. Um, <laughs> and let's get Bone Picker down. Is it just Blood Instant? No, it's Sorcery. Well, that's fine. We upgraded pretty significantly. Um, but we'll see if we can keep this on the field or not. Black, green, Fertilid. Okay. That's fine. Hmm. First things first, let's attack in. Uh, let's see. Second main, what do we want to do? Might just be play this, to be honest. Um. Let's say discard a creature card and let's go ahead and get rid of this. We get to draw a card here. We do need to make sure we're continuing our land drop. And if we can get to like a Lily, we're in great shape. Uh, a three, four is nothing to, to snob at either. I mean, that's a decent threat. Um, the fact that we've got a three, two in the air with death touch is really, really nice. Uh, just because it's going to be difficult for them to kill. Um, but this also gives us uh, a blocker on the ground. They're not doing too much. Uh, I do apologize for the frame rates, guys. I know it's a bit uh, a bit slow there. Let's get this down first. Uh, that way, if we do need to do, to use it to sacrifice a creature, we certainly can. Let's attack with both here. It just gives us an out. Um, and if they, the smart thing here is to block and then use its ability twice. Um, so we'll see if that's what they do. It, chances are that is it. And then they're up to six lands which is real good. Um, and then I think we just probably Blighted Bat, although we prob we should have played that now, actually, but I wanted to leave this up. Uh, Blighted Bat's nice because you can give it haste, uh, but did not prioritize that. Let's go ahead and put it out there now, though, uh, and we'll pass. Uh, I did want to just leave up a Sacrifice Outlet. That was probably just not needed, but it's fine. It's fine. All right. They've got all the lands in the world. Um, we have Innocent Blood, which is helpful because uh, it does give us some, some stuff that we might be able to do here. But uh, And actually, Cemetery Recruitment is quite good as well. But um, we'll see. Just because whatever we sacrifice... So, for instance, if we, um, if we get rid of this Blighted Bat um, to the Innocent Blood and make them sack, obviously, a higher value creature, uh, then we can Cemetery Recruitment back the Blighted Bat, or any, in, indeed, any zombie that we would like, and we get to draw a card, um, and then hopefully just replay it again. 
Uh, sure, that's fine. What's in the graveyard? Just Fertilid, right? That's fine. Ooh, whenever you sacrifice a creature, you can pay that if you do draw a card. Sacrifice a creature, fight. Gains indestructible until the end of the turn. That is quite good. Uh, let's do this. Hmm. So there is a world where we just attack. They sacrifice this, and then we get to innocent blood them. Um, we do lose this in the process, but they also lose this, which is pretty important, I think. Let's do this. Let's see what they do. This has menace. This is very tricky for us. Oh. Okay. Well, that actually makes this a heck of a lot easier then. Uh, they do get Fertilid back. And that's fine. That doesn't matter. Uh, let's Innocent Blood. Sacrifice the bat. Resolve. That's fine. Uh, let's do this. Let's pull back the Blighted Bat. And we get to draw a card, which is great because that means we get to play the Blighted Bat. Uh, actually, possible we should have played the Elite. That was a bit hasty. Uh, man, puns all the way around. Because we can give this haste, this would have probably been a better play. Um, that way it can attack next turn, but that's fine. Uh, we did get rid of their stuff, which was key, but chances are they've got... Uh, they didn't do it last turn. I mean, this is a big play, but it's not like end of the world big, if that makes sense. So there is a world where they've got bigger plays coming, but I think overall that was, was a pretty solid turn. I can't be too upset about it, to be honest. Let's see. Let's see what they do. Woo! Why don't you cast a creature spell? Create a beast. Sure. Okay. Hey, we got there. Uh, that was great. Very efficient. Uh, I think that last turn was really, really a big uh, lockout for them, so that felt great. And we got there. Can't be too unhappy. Let's see what rare we got here. Sarkon's Unsealing. That is a silly card. All right. Let's jump in. Game two. Uh, see what we can do. Hopefully better frame rates this time. Um, but yeah, uh, so here's my question to you guys. Um, because again, this is probably going up around the time that I'm leaving. Uh, so I probably won't be here in the comment section to, to answer back. But out of curiosity, I know everything is on shutdown right now. But a lot of people are taking that opportunity to go out, get away for a little bit. Um, this is actually kind of nice because we can just do this. And we don't have a creature to sacrifice. Um get out for a little bit, maybe enjoy some family time on a little va vacation. Um, I know some people are, you know, trying to get up to like the mountain areas and stuff like that, where it's just very secluded. You're kind of on your own. You don't have to worry about being near anybody, that kind of stuff. Uh, so just out of curiosity, have you guys uh, been going or, or do you have plans to go on vacation anytime soon? Get out of Dodge. Excuse me. Woo. Coke. Uh, maybe just try and relax a little bit. Uh, just, just out of curiosity, what have you got going on? I'd be interested to know. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's get this out there. There are going to be more times where Liliana's standard bear can be, um, a little more proactive. Uh, or at least we can get more value out of it. Um, sure, that's fine. Kind of expected something there, so that's totally fine. Uh, don't really like, I mean, they last grasped, which is a very good card, but this was not necessarily the best card to use it on. I might have, I think it was being mana efficient, but I don't know if it was really the best play. Uh, sure. Well, this evens out, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> I have the right to choose my own fate. And yours. Hmm. I don't want to do this. Um, oh, I don't know, though. Let's actually get rid of this. This is a bit of an odd play, I know. We're down on cards, so this probably isn't the best idea, but we're going to try it. Really don't care about your plans. Well, you heard her. She doesn't care about your plans, so that is what it is. Um... That might have been a bad play, I don't know. We could have just killed this. Um, and they can just swing in at it. We also have just innocent blood. <laughs> um, which is pretty good. Sure. You got it. 
Um, land. Hmm. Do we just cash in Lily or do we try and do this is my question. I think we just have to cash it in, unfortunately. Let's get this out. And then we'll innocent blood and kill this. Um, we gain some life, or they, excuse me, hit us for a lot more life that way. But unfortunately, I think that's just the best thing we can do. That was probably a misplay on my end to not just straight kill the 2-1 last turn. Because then we would have still had Liliana. That's definitely a mistake. Um, let's do that and do this. And now we're kind of just in a bad position. So misplay on my end. 100%. But it happens. It is what it is. Hmm. We kind of just need another creature to put out so we can get Gormand out. Uh, reanimate. Essentially. Um, it's not amazing though, is it? Uh, let's see. I'm just going to pass and see what happens. I don't know if that's correct. Probably not. I've been playing very badly this game. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, dude. Wow. Okay. Well, that's a bit of an overcommitting presence here, but I guess that works. You. Huh. Let's do this. And let's pass. Let's see what happens. Don't love this, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Looks like we're taking six. <clears throat> no blocks. I, I did the auto pass thing. This is my, I hate the triggers in arena just because it gets annoying. <laughs> um, to be honest, where like you always have something you can do. Uh, we do this and as much as I hate it, we do this. That's fine. Yes. We draw a card. That's good. And now we do this and they have to sack it. This was an answer to a play that shouldn't have happened because I suck. <laughs> um, but it does work. So, hey, cheers. All right. Let's do this first. See what we get. And we'll attack in. Do this. <clears throat> Just draw a couple cards, why not? That seems fine. Let's do this. Now we just have plays. Uh, okay, cool. We'll put green. All right, now they are top decking. We have Rise again, uh, which is really good, and a standard bear, which feels pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Uh, let's go ahead and attack in first. Let's Rise again. Uh, we're gonna get the Gourmand here. Um, we'll just play this little guy out. All right, well, Felt pretty bad for a while, and now I feel okay. Like, not great, but at least it's a thing. Um, and they can answer this all they want, but yeah. So they get a 2-2 two -two out, out of the bag there. That's pretty good. Um, I think we should do this first. And see how they block, if at all. Okay. Uh, let's see. Then let's end the turn. Let's see if they can commit to this a little bit. Um, we know that they've got enchant creatures in their deck. So, like... Ooh, that's cool. Um, we know that they've got enchanted creatures in their deck. So, it's like, if we can do something about that, that's fine. Looks like they they didn't get it, so... Let's flash this out now. Don't love that, but it's it's something. 
All right. Uh... Here we get to attack in with everything and then just switches cauldron away, whatever they block. Which is kind of nice. That's not bad. Um, I am going to put this down, though, uh, because we've got a lot of reasons to get rid of that. Um, specifically, this, like, menace dude, whatever his name is. That's, like, really annoying for our deck, to be honest. <laughs> um, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. Uh, there's no reason not to. Um, yeah, they get to trade some stuff off here, and that's fine. But we've got them in a position where they can't do a ton. I'm going to do this in return. Should have done the damage first. That was really dumb. I am an idiot. I play real well. That's fine. Let's do this, and let's do this. I'm done. We should have hit him for a damage first. That was, like, really stupid. I'm making all kinds of misplays, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Do it. I dare you. We have a 5-5. Five five. Uh, sure, I guess. We didn't really have to do this, but we are... I'm just using this ability to go ahead and draw a card. Uh, we get to draw two, technically, yeah. Pay one. That's not bad. Let's get you out. Uh, land. Let's do this. See what they do. This, they have to double block if they're going to block it. This, they don't, but obviously, you know. They get to gain some life here. Sure. This game is going on far too long. All right. Uh, yeah, why not? It is what it is. We've got like tons of value. We just can't necessarily finish the game very easily, but all right, there we go. Got it. Woo. Uh, was that game two? I think it was game two. Uh, we'll see. I think we won the first one. I'm not, I'm having a hard time paying attention when you've recorded so many of these. <laughs> it gets a little frustrating. Archon. Yes. All right. Uh, let's play one more. I think that was game two. Um, technically, we don't get any great prizes for winning another one, but we're going to do it anyway um, and see what we get. Cheers, guys. Ah, I love these little this this little format, though. It's just so fun. I love little fibble fit. Um, let's see. Is this a good hand? We have got so many three drops, but let's try it. Don't really care if we win this one, to be honest. It's kind of terrible, but. Um, this is also a big, like, the type of land that you play is exactly how you figure out what people are playing. Um, I'm really bad about it, but obviously these, like, showcase-looking lands are the Planeswalkers. So, just a little tip, if you're ever against one, uh, or, or someone and they've got these kinds of showcase art lands, not these, but these, um, then they've got a Planeswalker deck of whatever color that is. Uh, let's just play this out here. Aether Spellbomb's really cool. I love this card. <clears throat> I think there's a lot more, like, really cool artifact synergies that need to be coming out of uh, Historic now. Um, which I'm excited about, because JDC, which I'm assuming this episode of this Jumpstart series is coming up well after. Um, but if you would like to check out the JDC, please do. Um, because holy crap, is it a fun series. 
Uh, let's just play this bone picker out. See what we do. Obviously, if they've got the Aether Spellbomb, their um, archaeology is one of their things. Uh, what color did they pick here? Black. So potentially another. Archaeology is very prominent, though. That's for sure. They just get two of them. <laughs> that'd be pretty amazing. I don't know how that if you can do that, but that'd be amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. They're not doing a ton at the moment, though. I will say they're kind of, kind of just floundering. Maybe they don't have a lot, and we can just win quick. He says hypothetically. Uh, also, frame rates are terrible, guys. I know. I'm sorry. Sacrifice a scarecrow. Draw a card. Return. It's pretty good. Yeah, dude. You got it. Um, thankfully, we've got two flyers. Uh, we pass here, I think. We can Liliana's standard bear. And just kind of kill some stuff if we want. Scarecrow is very good, though, because they can kill something, like, use this, kill one of our things, and then bring something back with this, or bring this back with this, but they can't do it all in one turn. They don't have enough mana, so. Upside. Uh, but I will 100% trade off the, ban the bear for this if they, um, if they decide to do that. We also would theoretically get to gain a life, or not, uh, not gain a life, draw a card. Which, they're not going to do it. Sure. I assume Spellbomb? Yeah. Cool. It's pretty good. That's not pretty good. Uh, well, I guess they can bounce. Return target creature to his hunter's hands. So they do have to pop this, though, to do it. Um, we'll see if they want to or not. If they let us block, though, yep, we still negate the damage. Not that it's a lot, it's a damage, but okay. Hmm. Let's see what they do here. Okay, that's fine. get this down so we hit them for two gain two now they have to sack a creature that felt pretty good um and this can't kill this which is important all right see what they got that felt like a nice solid play um god they've got so many spell i mean i knew they recurred it but that's just such an annoying play they just get to return this if they want yeah dude you got it. That's pretty cool, though. Let's attack in. Chances are they bounce. Which is fine. Yeah, dude. You got it. So we have six mana to play with. Let's definitely get the flyer in. Uh, if they want to try and kill it, they certainly can. And we'll just get this guy down, I think. Oops. Cancel. Can't. We get this guy down. Um, get to mill a couple cards here. Maybe get a nice target for Rise again. Um, if not... Oh, that is a nice target. Alright. See what they do. I don't know if they want to sacrifice this. They won't do it. I mean, if they do, I guess they wouldn't this turn, but... They might do it on ours. Just don't seem to be doing a ton. Just bouncing. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Goodness gracious, our frame rate's garbage. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, we attack first? Right? Do the thing? Okay. Yeah, that's good. You got it. Uh, let's put you out there. And let's put you out there. Okay, well, see what they got. Is that another one of these stupid things? It is. Good lord, this card is annoying. Just get the Aether Spell Bomb again. <laughs> God, that's so frustrating. <laughs> uh, that's how archaeology works, I suppose, though. That's pretty good. 
All right. Yeah, dude. Nice. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to do this first. We sack this. Get a card from our graveyard. Let's get you, I think. The bone cutter, whatever, this uh, bone picker is actually not bad either, but um, that's just because it's evasive. That's fine. You can do that. I don't particularly care. This gets rid of the threat. Um, and we attack in for one. Woo. <laughs> killing it. Killing it, killing it. Wow, that's very good, though. Not going to lie. That's pretty awesome. Um, but we actually just get to rise again. That. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Let's rise again. Yep. Get rid of it. This deck is, like, super annoying to play against, I imagine. I mean, the archaeology deck is super annoying to play against, but this one seems very frustrating when you just recur the same kind of thing over and over. I mean, they're doing it too, but... Okay. If that's their best play, then that's good. That's also fine. Don't particularly care. Yeah, dude, you got it. Uh, land. Attack. And what do we want? This. And this. All right, now we've got really good threats. So, you know, that's nice. And what's great is I don't care about this. <laughs> Does not matter at all that we take six. That's completely fine. Hey, we got there. That was three straight wins with this deck. That was pretty solid. Um, whatever it was, Liliana and another thing. Uh, minions. Got it. Liliana and minions. That was pretty sweet. I enjoyed that. Um, oh, and we got a pack. Look at that. Well, let's open up a pack real quick, guys. That was exciting. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully, we'll have some more of these going up while I am away. Uh, I do appreciate all the support and everything like that. And I hope you guys are finding time, ways to spend your time that are productive, fun, relaxing, all the good stuff. Um, that's certainly what we're trying to do. So thank you so much for watching, I, everybody. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time uh, for another Jumpstart video.